In this specific video, we're going to be talking about how you can create memorable slogans for your company that stick in your customers' minds. So obviously, you want to make it memorable, but how do you make it memorable? Well, what are the primary benefits? What I want you to do is just right now think about this or take a pen and a paper or pencil and paper out and just think, what are your primary benefits? Think about two to three of the primary benefits of your company and just jot them down. Another thing you can also do is differentiate your brand in comparison with your competitors. But before you can do this, obviously you need to know who your competitors are and how they're branding themselves, what slogans that they're using, and how do you differ from them. And relate that to the benefits somehow. You could do something that's related to customer satisfaction, like customer support or something like that, something that's great. And solidify the brand by re-emphasizing the name in your logo. You could also do stuff like rhyme and jingles. And one thing you can do is these are just, just ideas that you can use. But you could take any of these and combine them to create more power in your branding for your slogan. So you could have the primary benefit. You could have as the kind of USP. And when I say USP, I mean unique selling proposition. What differentiates you from your competitors? So let me show you how to go about doing this, how give you examples of companies and their slogans and how they could be standing out compared to their competitors and how you can figure out what your competitors are doing and things like that. And I'll show you how to do a rhyme and jingle as well. Okay, so right now I'm at google.com here and I'm gonna show you some examples of some memorable slogans. So I was at Subway today and they have a slogan that says, eat fresh. Now Subway, their angle is all about sub sandwiches and so forth so eat fresh obviously emphasizes to people that their foods are fresh and that's what people want to know they want to know is this food fresh you know they they want to know does it taste good stuff like that or nike for example nike is just do it It's just simple, easy slogan, that doesn't necessarily describe the benefits of the product itself, but it describes more of an action. Another example is Arby's, and Arby's slogan is slicing up freshness. So you kind of get an idea here uh, how important the slogan is to basically back up the actual brand name. So think about a slogan as a way to back up the brand name. Now let's talk about how you can do some research on your competitors and how to figure out their company brand their slogans and things like that. One specific tool that I like to use is KeywordSpy.com and another one is called SpyFu which is very similar to KeywordSpy.com. Now both of these tools give you the ability to do research on your competitors. Now you can figure out what competitors are using in terms of keywords but we're primarily interested in who are our competitors. So let's say, for example, that I type in Arby's. So as you can see here, this is Arby's, and we can see the ads they're using, the competitors that they have, 
So if you click on competitors, these are their competitors. So we got Wendy's, which is another competitor. What I like to do is simply just go to these websites and I'll highlight this, search Google for Wendy's. And look at their slogan. Okay, so if I go to Google, type in Wendy's slogan, you can see that it says, uh, the slogan is, it's way better than fast food. So when somebody eats fast food, they probably feel horrible afterwards. So if you emphasize, hey, while this is fast food, it's better than fast food. That's definitely a catchy slogan and can appeal to certain people. So KeywordSpy.com is a great place to find your competitors as well as SpyFu.com as well. So simply basically figure out the domain of your competitors, type this in and start going back to Google, type in the company name space slogan so you can kind of get an idea of what you're up against. If you can do at least research on maybe about 10 to 15 different competitors and just see what's in common in terms of all of these different companies and their slogans, it gives you a better idea of your market and creating a slogan for yourself. Now let's talk about rhyme and jingles. Let's say you were to take these words like uh, slicing up freshness or things like that and creating a rhyme and jingle. There's a specific site that I like to use, it's called rhymezone.com. And all you have to do is basically enter a word and it'll give you words that rhyme with that word. So you could say something like fresh and click search. And it gives you a list of all the words that rhyme with fresh. And that's a really easy way to create uh, rhymes and jingles is simply by using this specific site. 